Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 2 of Aconcagua. La where we last left off, uh, we finally rescued Julia here. She has a knife and a lighter, and you know what we can do with these things? First things first, I'm pretty sure we need to go collect that rope. And also open up... Wait, we, we already opened up that briefcase, didn't we, right? Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, you know, we do want to get some rope. Rope is very helpful in these kinds of situations. Alright. Now, I, I'm pretty sure I gotta use the knife here. She's actually doing it, and I'm actually a genius. The smartest sushi roll on the planet. Yo, let's go. Is there anything else over here? There's a body. Sorry, pal. Alright. And I guess we'll give the rope to Kato or something like that. Or we'll fashion the rope around the rock. And then we'll give it to him? I don't know. <laughs> Let's go over there and we'll, we'll figure this out. See what's, what's up. Because only he can basically scale this thing. He's like a... He's a mountain climber. That kind of guy. Look at her go. I don't know what she's saying, but... Did she put it around the rock? Who knows? She... She did not? Okay. How about... We we'll bring Kata over there and see what he has to say about this. Yeah, you two can talk. The, okay, I had a feeling she had to give me the rope. Because only he could, you know. He's the only one who knows how to tie something. Let's go. No, don't save. If I save, it will break everything. For whatever reason. So I've just learned to never save. This is all in one run. Yo, look at him go. These are some very good looking cutscenes, by the way. I mean, this is like a... I'll go first to see if the bottom of the cliff is safe. A game that came out before... Like, shortly before the PlayStation 2 launch, so like... It's a very good looking title, very late into the ecosystem, and that's pretty much why it never really got localized. Oh, oh dear. PS2 is around the corner. Oh, oh dear. Uh. We've done it. We've descended. Look at us loading like champs. All right. How about you explore this way? Hey, there's a person here. How are you doing, pal? Who are you and what language do you speak? I think we... Uh, oh, okay. Oh, that's that guy. Okay, so we need to switch to Pachamama. Because we can't understand him. Or is he gonna... Oh, okay. Never mind. I don't know what you're saying. I'm hurt. Guess what? This was all a setup. We've been attacked by rebels. I don't know. Maybe that's what you're saying? Seems to be what this story is trying to acquiesce. Do we have to heal him? Or save him? Or is it too late to save him? I mean, it's not like you can understand what we're saying, right? Sorry, pal. Uh, okay. What is this? That is some lore or something? Are those like documents? What am I looking at here? It's a sack. What do we need the sack for? Maybe we'll freaking rest them on a sack. Why not? Seems like, whoops. Eh, I'm sorry, Punch Mama. I didn't mean to speak to you. Get out of my way. All right, here. I'll acquiesce a sack on you. No, that's not gonna work. I don't know why I thought that was gonna work. What's over here? Uh-huh. You see that camera angle? If I can acquiesce it. Uh, I don't know. 
All right. Uh, how about we use the sack here? Excuse me. Oh God, this I forget. This is a Japanese game. I think he wants some water, right? So we're using the sack. Oh, we got oil for what though? Give the oil to engineer man. Or I don't know. What do I use the oil for? I don't understand. Pal, do you want it? Okay, what about what do you have to say? She has to say nothing. Alright, that's fine, you know. You know, you guys don't have to say anything. Alright, Pachamama. We got some oil. Wait, what do we do here? Oh, we're gonna use... I don't know. We're gonna use this to send out a, a signal, maybe? Or to warm us up? Why did I think... <laughs> Why did I think uh, we could just throw the sack of oil in there like everything is fine? Look. Well, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. I can't understand the game, so... What's this? Maybe we'll get Steve to come over here to do something. Doesn't he have, like, he has tools, right? He can use the tools to... no. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Alright, use the tool to... Okay. Thought we wanted to use the tool on the chair to, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. Uh, no, 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 no. How about... This time around... Boom. That's idiotic. Okay. Well, Julia has a knife. We'll ask her to bring the knife over here. And maybe she can do something for us, right? Okay. Knife. Let's go. Gallery brain status. Too easy for me. Alright, so are we using that to make, you know, cloth? Let's go, bring that over to the, the boys bleeding. It makes too much sense. Please. I want to talk to you, Patramama. No, I'm just playing. Okay, here you go. Here's some cloth. All bandied up and suppied. I'm telling you, those cutscenes look gorgeous. This should stop the bleeding from your injury soon. It's cold out here. I'll put you on that seat. Oh, no, she's freaking slow. There you go. <sighs> oh, we can go inside now. Nope, oh, it's locked. If only I could use my knife as a lockpick. Okay, we're gonna bring Steve here with the tool, right? That's gotta be... It's gotta be what we're doing over here. Oh, well, you can freaking break that bad boy down. Probably. Does it work? No, he's useless. Of course he is. I don't know what Kato can do, he just... I don't know. Use the oil on the door, we'll freaking grease that bad boy open. Probably not. Can you open it? No, of course I can't. What is... What's Pachamama looking like? Does she have any... She doesn't even have anything. Alright. Is greasing the door the actual legitimate option here? Okay, that would've been... Wait. Is that... <laughs> We're gonna burn the door down. Hey, Julia, come on over. It's 
time for you to join the party and freaking burn it down. Well, it is pretty cold anyway, right? Maybe we don't want to go here at all. We just wanted to light it up. And, well, it didn't work as planned, but we were able to kick down the... Open the door. Yo, these guys are freaking dead. Sorry they bopped you like this, pal. Hit that radio, though. I mean, he's moving. Is he alive? He is alive. I don't know what he's saying to me, though. Help me, I need water. How about we bring... Oh, never mind. No saves in Brooklyn, please. Shit! Where the hell is the rescue party? What's that sound? It's a helicopter. It's the sound of a helicopter. Are they government troops? Jesus Christ, got gunned down. Shit, they're coming this way. Yeah, you might want to run. supposed to rescue us they might have mistaken us for someone else who the hell did they mistake us for uh, that's no excuse maybe they mistook us for rebel gorillas based in the mountains I got an idea we can use a transmitter to let them know Let's talk to them right away before they circle back around. I think I hate Steve's voice. He's <laughs> got an annoying voice. But alright, Steve. It's all you, baby. Operate this bad boy. You know how. Or do you not know? Steve, how could you? You're coming back. No, don't use the tool. What's that gonna do? Uh, alright. Hmm, well, seeing as Julia- Oh, wait. We should let Pacha Mama do it, because she can probably speak, you know, she, uh, she can understand them and speak the same language. Or maybe it's not working. I don't know what the problem is. My dude is a goner. What happened to the other guy? He was like over yonder. Oh. Okay. Maybe all we want to do. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, Steve, you, you get over here. Maybe there's something you can fix here. Like, what? what's this? Oh, God, that was cursed. This panel here. Uh, oh, we've done it. Fuck! The battery's missing! What can we do? What do you think? We've no choice but to look for a battery. But where should we look? I don't think it's on this side of the valley. If it had fallen on this side, we would have found it already. Uh, 
their back. I like this Star Wars music, by the way. The other side anyway. well, what should we do about him? We'll be caught if we take him with us. What will be the day, Timmy? How about drawing their attention as we run? They should follow us. <sighs> Everyone looks okay. Oh, yeah. Now I just hope I find a battery somewhere around here. Oh, we looking for batteries, huh? Don't mind if I do. We gotta try not to get popped here. Uh, what's what are we doing here? I don't know what that has to say, but maybe there's nothing there? What about over here? I guess we're searching, right? That's what this thing is now? I don't know. I'm like Jon Snow, I know nothing. Oh, what is that? That looks like a battery to me. Okay, so we're gonna climb- <gasps> Whoops, I forgot to use my gloves I clearly have on my hand, so I guess that didn't work. There we go. So, I'm guessing we're gonna drop the battery down and we need somebody to get it, or... Like, do we have to toss it to someone or are we just dropping it? I don't know. Freaking toss- oh. So throw that giant battery in his back pocket like it's nothing. Thought we were gonna do some puzzle type stuff. What's over here? Hitting goods. This is where we die or not okay well we got the battery so let's make our way back unless what's over here oh it's uh a man who might be dead unfortunately I'm sorry you had to go this way this is greed by the way absolute greed Anything? No. I guess that has, you know, maybe if I wanted to explore around. I wish I could understand this game, because this is like a really cool game. Really great idea as well. Alright. Just keep on keeping on, soldier. Do you think I can install the battery all by myself? Hey cowards, I got the battery. So let's go back. And they're nowhere to be found. Oh, okay. Let's place this bad boy. Or what if we had to give it to Steve? Is that what it is? Only Steve's allowed to insert a battery? I think that's actually what it might be. Hey, Steve, get your frickin' butt over here. Who cares if you might get shot? You gotta do it. One way or another. Give me that battery. I want it. It's mine. That's damn right. Alright. Well, let's try placing this battery yet again. And looky here. Guess who has actually done it? Freaking Steve the Nerd. I don't see a battery there, but... <laughs> what are you doing, Steve? <laughs> what the hell? Is that some Scooby-Doo stuff? Whatever the case may be, let's... Oh, wait. Uh, I think we fixed it, right? So now we can hop in there and say hello? It sounds like something's happening. 
Okay, I was right in my assumption earlier that we need Pachamama to come over and speak to them. So let's go do that. Get out of my way, coward. I do like how they automatically move so they don't block your way. What happened? Mm, obviously something happened. Oh, it's lore time. I love me some lore. No saving. Savings for cowards. What is this? Is this actually gonna happen right now? Oh, got him! Let's go! You can't kill Pachamama. We'll freaking bop you. Thanks for the assault rifle, coward. Yo, he's the best bodyguard ever. Are you telling me that pistol actually did something? We'll be back. What the hell is going on? Look, the government troops only want me. The soldier told me that they were ordered to kill everyone else. That means the Maruzan government planned the crash as well. Are you saying that we have nothing to do with this? And we just got caught up in your fucking war! Steve, cut it out. <laughs> we don't have time See, to See, he was a coward. We have to concentrate on finding our way out of this. She's right. Pachamama, you'll have to tell us all the details after we get rid of that helicopter. Oh, hell yeah. But guess what? We'll get rid of that helicopter next episode. So I'll see you around. Thanks for hanging out.